While we are getting nothing like that, snow is top of mind right now. So you may also be thinking, hmm, how are you going to remove all of this? Some of us will turn to companies for help. But as Remy Murray learned today, inflation is making their job more costly this year. But it's rough on a small business. For the last five years, Paul Balucas has been the man to call to clear the snow from your yards. My best asset is my consumers and the reviews they give me. But he says this may not be the case this season. I have a lot of regular customers and when I hit them with the prices this year, uh, some of them couldn't afford it. He says the reason for the rate hike is inflation. And I'm really worried about me making any money again this year after last year. A similar concern being felt by other local snowplow owners like Jason Holliday. It's taking its toll. When I asked both men what's the biggest factor driving up costs for their businesses, they pointed to these prices. Um, but having a thousand pound plow in the front of your truck I'm, I'm burning through like 50% more gas at a time. So now and today it costs me $90 to fill up. So every time there's a job to do, like clearing Thursday's snowfall in Ashtabula County, it costs Holloway around $540 to fill up six trucks. On top of that, Holloway says he's having a hard time getting same day salt orders and finding new trucks due to chip shortages. Everything is constrained times 10. This means increased prices, which is something Holloway says he doesn't want to do since he, his cousin and friend started their business to help one of our most vulnerable population. We understand like uh, with our elderly folks, some people have just certain incomes and certain fixed incomes. So, you know, what we used to charge three years ago, we have to charge like almost 50% more. Still, both Holloway and Belucas are hopeful current trends won't impact their business too much. I'm hoping that uh, the prices come down and I can make a little money, but uh, if I, if at least as long as I break even like I did last year, enough to pay the bills and buy equipment, then uh, I continue on. In Cuyahoga County, Remy Murray, News 5.